Hello everybody and welcome back to a modded character showcase. Today we're going to be showing off the tainted version of Zack. Very interesting. I've had a little look at the Steam Workshop page for him. He seems really interesting. Essentially, the way that this guy works is he gets these little shards that increase his power. And he has this sort of like green electricity effect. And he can use his, um, his snake's eyes, which I think this time are literal snake eyes in order to purge himself of these runes or, or uh, I, I don't know exactly what to call them. I think they call it like shards or something along those lines. But as you can see, he's got like electrifying tears. And as we get these shards, they're going to upgrade this attack, this, the power of our green laser. But it comes with a caveat. I do believe that different enemies and such can spawn. As you can see, we got a little gem here. Uh, so that's going to increase our power a little bit. Uh, I won't be taking that bomb for right now. I do also... Whoa, we got Polly right off the bat. Okay, this is an interesting run. Um, I do want to quickly go over one thing. Despite this being a character showcase, I am also currently using the newest version of the Ipecac mod. It got a pretty big update recently. Quite a lot of changes. Uh, an entire overhaul of the... Uh, God damn, this is strong. Uh, an entire overhaul of the... Oh my god, we're getting we're getting a luck upgrade for each one of these. This is crazy. Of all the foiled cards, so they're all new now. I don't know anything more than that. I just know that they got an overhaul. Um, quite a lot of different balance changes. Some new items added. Some items removed or reworked. Uh, qualities have been changed. Uh, and, and yeah, overall, just uh, quite a lot of updates. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, so this is intriguing. So now we've gone up into the yellow in our crystals here. So we're definitely seeing that this is very strong. I'm hearing some sound effects that I'm not familiar with either, but god damn, this is, this is hella strong. Okay, so we're into the red. Now, it said that something bad happens if you... Uh, if you don't... Okay, so there's the there's the enemy portal thing that, we, that I kind of spoke about, the bad things that can happen. But it said that if you get too many of these crystals, something bad can happen. And I am definitely willing to risk my run to find out what that might be. And there you go. We actually found out. So, we lost all of the luck gained and two full soul hearts. Now, I wonder, does it do exactly two damage or... Does it just remove all soul hearts? I'm sure we'll find out as we play along here, but yeah, very interesting. Uh, ooh, I will most certainly take blue map if I can. Um, I might not be able to. It depends. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. If I had soul hearts, I'd go and... Um, I'd go and play the sacrifice room just once to get a penny. I've got, I think I've got to take some risks here. So f first of all, let's just destroy all these and see if we get anything from these. But so far, I'm very intrigued by Tainted Zack. Uh, Normal Zack is very, very vanilla, very plain. Uh, he doesn't have anything crazy going on. This guy seems to have a lot more going on. Okay, so let's grab this because it won't kill us. We get two bombs and we can come back over this way. And Secret Room is likely, likely to be here. I think it's not. Damn. <laughs> okay. It's got to be here then, right? Please. Yes. No pennies. Amnesia. What makes you larger and infested? Ah. Oh. Well, this is very upsetting. We are so very close. I'm just trying to think, is there any other way... We can eke out a penny. Ooh, there is some fires. There, so you're saying there's a chance, game. So you're saying there's a chance. That is a red heart, but unfortunately, that doesn't mean we can play the sack room. Come on, there's so many fires. One has to give me a penny. Please. You've got to, game. You've got to. Blue map would be so good. It's not looking good, though. It's not looking good. Ah, oh, that is disappointing. Right, I'm going to do one last cursory glance at the rest of this floor and just see if there's any other way we can gain a penny. I'm a little annoyed I wasted a bomb. Yeah, it looks like we've unfortunately had our lot for this floor. We've got a good run going on nonetheless, though. It's just a little bit of a shame to miss out on something as good as Blue Map uh, this early on into a run and buy one penny nonetheless. But we could actually get a room reward penny out of this. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I can't believe it. It's amazing. It's truly amazing. So this time, we're going to have to make sure we take snake eyes. That's awesome. We're going to have to make sure we uh, we use snake eyes appropriately and make sure that we don't fumble and end up hurting ourselves more. Just before we nip down to the next floor, I am going to quickly go through a few more of the changes on Ipecac because I know a lot of people love Ipecac and I know a lot of people don't love it as much because of certain things. So I just want to go over some of the changes. Um, let's have a little look-see. Updated some of the monsters bestiaries, which is pretty cool. Uh, overhaul how costumes work. Um, yeah, lots of different buffs and changes to items. A buff to rainbow chests, which is kind of interesting. Um, ooh, yeah, and also the Moses character has been almost fully completed. Spare a few synergies. So I'm really excited to try out Moses. I think I'm gonna probably gonna try him out tomorrow, actually. For, uh, for tomorrow's modded character showcase. So hopefully we get a good amount of um, a good amount of bombs here. So I'm 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 wondering when the optimal time to use snake eyes is because I think very interesting secret room. Uh, I think the longer um, oh why didn't I even why didn't I open that? I have keys. I think the longer we leave it, oh that's a very very nice haul. The longer we leave it, the worse it's likely to be in terms of the negative effects of it. So I think we probably want to use it at maybe like four gems, maybe five. We'll see. I really like the sound effect for gaining these gems. I actually initially thought the gems would, would fall onto the floor. Tiny planet. Well, this has become strange. Um, I, I initially thought the gems were going to fall onto the floor. Do you know what? Actually, tiny planet might be incredible because of the zapping effects. So now we're onto the yellow level of gems. So let's go in here and use Snake Eyes. Okay, so that purges and spawns a bunch of enemies. So I'm assuming the amount of enemies that spawn scales with... Um, I really like this tiny planet setup we got going on. I think that scales with the amount of gems that we purge. So I think maybe best course of action is to purge at around three. I think it's going to differ from floor to floor, especially if it's spawning floor-specific enemies. I don't know if this one was. I couldn't really tell. Um, is that a bomb for the normal secret? I really, really like this with Tiny Planet, though. It's obviously a little... It hinders us a little bit just because we can't actually hit the direct shots as easy. So I think our overall damage output has gone down a little bit. But our overall enjoyment of this run has definitely gone up, and the the ability for us to zap enemies is a little higher. And honestly, Tiny Planet isn't all that hard to hit. It's just a little harder. Um, okay, so we'll pick up that. I think we will go Devil Deal here. We'll grab Cracker Jacks. Very good trinket there as well. And I'm going to pop Snake Eyes in here and see. So it does seem to spawn floor-specific enemies, or at least somewhat there. Um, and it did also spawn champions. Saw that it could drop a bomb, but I think that's because it was a champion. Very, very good shop here. Um, I think we will take Sulphur. Sulphur seems good. And I think we'll take False PhD as well. False PhD is uh, one of those ones that I really, really like. Shot speed down for a damage up. Hell yes. I don't think shot speed is that big of a deal. In fact, lower shot speed is probably good for us, right? Pop this, see if we can get two Soul Hearts out of this. We didn't, but we did get a Zealot Heart, which is always nice. Um, and we'll go and try and complete the rest of the floor. But yeah, I'm interested to see how sulfur works with uh, all of this because I don't know how much how synergistic this uh, green zappy tear effect actually is. But yeah, it seems like at the minute, at least with this run, we don't require a lot of gems to deal good damage. We've actually got a very good run without them. But getting ourselves into a good position with the gems is going to help a lot, especially because we're getting that luck, uh, which is going to just give us more drops. Very, very nice. I will pop in here just to see if I can grab myself something. We do have... Uh, uh, I thought that was uh, Bearthright for some reason there. I was I was quite, quite interested, but unfortunately it's not. I was coming in here looking for um, a bomb, but unfortunately we're not getting that. I will take this. The Mirrored Landscape. I've not seen that before. Uh, let's have a little look, see what that does. Your active item moves to your pocket slot. If you already have a pocket item, it drops on a pedestal. That is a ridiculously overpowered card. <laughs> like, obviously for us, it doesn't actually matter because we have a pocket item and I don't want to drop um, Sulphur. But god damn, what? <laughs> 
That is a redonkulously overpowered card. That's it's kind of interesting. I, I like the idea behind it. Oh, one thing as well that I do want to quickly check out. If I go to my um, external item descriptions, you can go on display and I think it's display or visuals maybe. You can turn it on so that you can see what mod thing things are from. Uh, display mod indicator. Name only, both. Let, let's put it on both. I did have this on at one point, but apparently it's disabled. I do want to quickly go back now that I've enabled that. Because, um, I, like I said, I did have it on, but apparently it's disabled itself. Someone mentioned it to me in a comment recently, and it made me think, oh yeah, that hasn't been working for a while. This is from Repentance Plus. <laughs> no surprise there. Repentance Plus likes to make some ridiculously overpowered things. But, yeah, unfortunately for now, we have to leave it. I suppose... It's balanced out by the fact that a lot of characters and modded characters do have pocket items, but even still, <laughs> really, really good. Like, even without the ability to make your active into a pocket item, it gives you the ability to drop an active, which is an ability that is not always given to you in this game, and it's a very, very powerful one. So let's try out how Sulfur works with this whole mess. So for one, we are just zapping enemies. Okay, so... I think the way that it's working, also our tier rate is horrible. Sulfur might not even be a great item for us. Uh, golden bombs is rather nice. Um, yeah, I think sulfur is kind of interesting. It does seem to work, but not in the way I thought it would. Um, what I was expecting is the laser on contact with enemies to create chain lightning. Gives you passive item duplication. Uh, you will become haunted by an altar fiend. Getting hit by them will um, grant three broken hearts and remove the buff. Now, that is a very, very good ability. I very much want it. But at the same time, getting gaining broken hearts removes soul hearts. And it removes two. So we, we'd, need, we'd need at least one additional soul heart to take that without actually dying. Okay, so let's pop snake eyes again here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I was not expecting that. Uh, also, did it unlock this door for us? I think it did. So, there's our soul heart. There's our soul heart. Good, good. Magnet for pickups and enemies. No thank you, no thank you. Really? Tiny planet, can you not? We're going to keep going. I don't know what the what what repurpose sound effect that is, but I recognize it. The the, the one when you gain a gem. It, it's a repurpose sound effect that I know from. Okay, that was good. Loki's horns, actually Loki's horns is incredible because for one, with Tiny Planet it's pretty good. But if you think about it, I'm going to be gaining luck constantly when we're gaining gems. The more luck we have, the higher chance for Loki's horns to proc, which I think means that we can have a really, really cool build here. I want to try to get up to red gem level next and see what uh, what sort of enemies and stuff it spawns on red level. But yeah, this is this is a pretty powerful little synergy we've made ourselves here. Because I think, I can't remember exactly with Loki's Horns. In fact, we can probably check. We go to Encyclopedia, our inventory, and take a look at Loki's Horns effects. Um, the chance goes up to 100%. Um, wait, what, what does this... Minus rep and rep. Uh, wait, I think they just changed it. So at 15 luck, it goes up to 100%, I think that means. But even still, at any amount of luck, it's going to be very, very good. I am going to go and take the Altar Fiend. It's risky, certainly, but I think it could be quite fun. I'm a little worried just because my speed is a little low. The fuck? What just happened? Did it... Did it just spawn on me? One second. One second here. Spawn patched. 5.10.5.10.3320. No, thank you. Can I use it again? Okay, good. 
Okay, yeah, that was hella unfair. <laughs> it just spawned on me. That's one of the reasons I like having patched hearts installed. <laughs> rare, a very, very rare uh, situation, but still. Um, also, it seemed it didn't take away any of my soul hearts, which is great to know. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having that. One of the reasons I love having console enabled is because there's, there's bugs with mods. There's, there's, there's issues. I, I don't want to have to deal with those issues on a regular run when I shouldn't have to deal with them. So, uh, we get ourselves this from Deliverance, which is nice, and we get ourselves Sty as well. Some really good stuff here. Do you know what? We're gonna carry on the alt path. I'm really into the alt path at the moment with all the, uh, the new champion bosses. I've been saying it like a broken record, but I do really, really like them, and I want to experience them as much as possible for both me and you guys. Although, I feel like with this run specifically, we're going to be kind of steamrolling them. <laughs> but I, I like the fact that we've managed to get quite a synergistic run. I really like the idea of this of this sort of power balance with luck and tier effects that, um, that scale with luck. So let's pop this now. I kind of like the fact that it spawns the portal a little bit before... So you kind of, you kind of know where they're going to spawn, and then, uh, and then after that you see the enemies. By the way, that is an example of why that card from Repentance Plus is broken as all hell. I could grab an active item, bring it into that room, drop it on the floor, and re-roll it. And then I get a secret room item. I did spot, a portal spawned there when I got hit. I'm not sure what that was about. Don't quite like this. So, ooh, wait, 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 what's going on here? There's portals spawning randomly. Oh, I missed out on that. Okay, we've now got portals spawning when we enter rooms sometimes. I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. We are skipping rooms by accident here as well. I do want to actually... Whoa, 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 interesting room. Very interesting room. Also, the look is uh, clearly paying out quite nicely here. Wait, what? Uh, I can't leave this room. This is why we gotta have console on. <laughs> because I can't leave this room. Cool. God damn it. <laughs> What in the effing shit is this? That is the grossest room I've ever done seen. Right, so car battery is very good with sulfur. So that's nice. Um, don't think there's much else we want here. I will buy another key. Yeah, I'm not a, not a huge fan of that room that's essentially guaranteed damage if you have low speed. I feel like that's one thing that... Um, I've, I've also made this, this mistake with Lava. I feel this is a mistake that modders often make, or room creators often make, is when you test out, let's pop our snake eyes, when you test out um, your mod, you just start out as Isaac with no items or anything. So everyone tests it, and like, cool, base speed, you can easily make it. And they don't consider, oh shit, what if you don't have base speed? <laughs> what if you have lower than base speed, then what? Ooh, baby, that is very good. Dude, stop making me go through this room. We also have to go back this way, so I might have to give myself transcendence again. Wait, what? Oh, ooh, okay. I can actually stay on the lava there. <laughs> that somehow worked out. Somehow worked out. I definitely need some fire rate ups. I'd love fire rate ups right now. Doing decently with the Alt of Fiend. But yeah, now we get Mega Sulfur. Holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> that was awesome. And there's a fire rate up. Awesome. Definitely need that. Grab Burn Hurting Juice as well. That's good. Can we actually gain Red Hearts? We can. I, I completely forgot. <laughs> of course we can. We started with one. I'm an idiot. Uh, ooh, Red King is pretty saucy. We'll take Red King. Red King's really good. Obviously, our health is in a pretty, pretty horrible spot right now, but I think it's okay. So, I wonder, like, how something like Poker Chips would work that, like, multiplies your luck by 50%. That'd be awesome with this, right? 
Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what's causing the random portals to spawn. Because I didn't have that before. Certainly intrigued by it. I am completely fine with a shot speed down for a damager. The electricity is doing crazy good right now. Oh no, unfortunately I've been hit. So that gives us our um, our broken hearts. But it does mean the altar fiend is now gone. We didn't get much out of the altar fiend there. But for three broken hearts, I'd say that the rewards that we garnered are actually pretty good. We got ourselves an extra boss item. We'll call it the screw. I'm not sure which one it was. We got sty. Uh, we got the salty soup. It was pretty good stuff. Uh, what? I'm getting really confused by some of the hits I'm taking here. Did I just get telefragged by a ghost? I think I did, right? Oh, no, I'm an idiot. I let my gems go too high. I wasn't paying attention. But I like that. You've got to be on your toes with this character. You can't just, you can't just coast. I would like it if the game would stop giving me terrible enemies, though. Yeah, so I, I accidentally um, over-gemmed. So I was, I, I, I've been trying to hold it until... What the heck? I got hit again. I need some health real bad. Holy water is definitely a must picker. Oh, Stigmata would have been way better. Honestly, Stigmata would have been way better. Okay, so it's a four gems. Please have health in here. Damn it. Good, good. Okay, so we'll pop our snake eyes now just to make sure we don't fuck up again. I'll try and pop it whenever it reaches yellow from now on. Although I, sh I, sh I should probably try and make sure I have a good amount of luck for the boss fight. This could be useful for us. In fact, this could be very useful for us. Black Heart is really good. And honestly, Experimental Pill, Speed Down is a very annoying. And I'm Excited is good for a Black Heart. Also, fuck you, Void Chest. Get wrecked. <laughs> My god. That is the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I was really hoping we'd be able to keep uh, the Altar Fiend for one of our Red Room fights. I just thought that would have been really enjoyable. What, uh... Oh, this is a very peculiar room here. Um, Very peculiar indeed. We have a golden troll bomb doing the bombing for us, which is intriguing. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's maybe okay, actually. It's gonna make uh, it's gonna make the bomb explode a little quicker, I think. I, I like the idea behind this room. Very cool. We get ourselves the mark, which is very nice. Bit of HP, and we'll be on our way. We'll be on our way. Okay, health is looking way better now. Even without three broken hearts, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I need to watch back some of this footage. I'm, I, I, I feel like I'm just clearly missing shots that are coming at me, but like I don't normally miss them that much. I feel like I'm getting hit a lot by stuff I'm not seeing. Okay, so we're up to yellow again here, so let's pop this. Nice. I'm loving this run so far. I just, I think the the, the Loki's horns and the um. And the sulfur, the sulfur uh, car battery synergies are just making this run so fun. Obviously, we've had a, we've we've had a very powerful start as this character, more powerful than you would regularly see, but still. We did get an enemy in here; they died almost immediately. We've gotten this. By the way, aren't these pills meant to be? Um, I can't take another speed down. I just can't. Um, aren't them pills meant to be purple? I thought I had the purple pill mod. Maybe not. Okay. Crack in here. Not getting too much from our secret rooms so far, but it's good that we have the ability to find them all. That is nice. God damn, the laser ability is so good. Okay, so we're, we're, we're maxing out on our gems right now. Let's be careful. Yeah, so there you go. We're on red now, so let's pop it. That one gave us a trinket. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that.
Beautiful. I kind of think we're better off not using our brimstone sometimes, though. Confessional is... Eh, doesn't really work. Oh, wait, no, actually. I was like, Confessional's not very good, but we can actually purge some broken hearts here, right? There's one gone. Like, we're going to have to do some backtracking here if we don't want to spend any soul hearts, but genuinely could be very, very good for us. I'm only going to do one more heart. I'm not going all the way back for that other heart, but we'll get two more uses on it and see. I always forget they can purge broken hearts. It's it's, it's just, it's so niche. There's another one gone. I'll go for one more. Hey, all three of them gone. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's like, I think that's literally the first time I've ever used a confessional right. Ooh, Blue Mum looks awesome now. I love that. It's beautiful. Uh, I want to take this, I think. I don't think I'm going to go Devil Deal yet. Do you know what? I think it's just the mother fight where this doesn't work. Lump of coal. Oh my god. <laughs> Lump of Coal is so good with this current setup. Yeah, I think the Red King thing just does not work on the mother fight. On the mum fight, should I say, mum's foot. Okay, so you're giving us another enemy. It, I think I think it'd be nice if, um, if those portals appeared a little more often than they currently do. Like, they're not all that common. I'd like to see, like, one every sort of other room and uh, an increase to that depending on how many crystals you currently have. So, like, one, one every few rooms, one every, like, four or five rooms with no crystals. But as you increase your crystals, once you get it to, like, the red level, you're pretty much getting one a room. Also, we managed to get a clotty from somewhere. I don't know where we got that from. I was wondering why we're firing more tears then. Good, good. I think we must have picked up one of the uh, one of the hearts from Repentance Plus. Another shot speed down is fine by me. There you go. I really like the shot speed downs, keeping our tears in the air for a bit longer. More time to zap. I wonder if you can get this zappy green uh, tier effect as an item. Because I know that the Zack mod does have um, unlocks. And by the way, for those of you wondering, Zack will be appearing in the normal modded streak. I have decided that he is a worthy character. I just think he's very soundly made. Like, very, very, very good both visually and gameplay for both the tainted and normal versions. Um... Yeah, it just fits in very well, so I think he's a great character to add to the series. Ooh, nice. Get one of these bad boys. Quick payout on that one. Okay, so we're about to use this. Let's pop our snake eyes now. It's kind of better to pop the snake eyes just before the room ends, actually, so you can get an extra crystal quickly. It's something I hadn't really thought about before, but it's a, a pretty good tactic. Oh my god. It's chonky is what it is. It's chonky. Unfortunately, I'm not really bothered with that. Ooh, these are new. Um, so this is another situation though where, as you can see, it's not telling me what mod it's from. I just want to quickly check IED and make sure it's working right. It is on both. Yeah, it is on both. So I think this is a new a new item from the Ipecac mod. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I, I assumed that's what it did, but the confirmation is 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 bliss. I, I really like those. They're really cool. Anything to um anything to make mini Isaacs more common, I'm I'm all down for. There are really Dude, I walk right into that. They're a really cool little feature that doesn't really get utilized all that much. Okay, so we're into the yellow again. Do you know what? Let's pop snake eyes now. Do 
brush room here. Oh wait, can these guys be damaged through? Okay, they can. Cool. Doesn't matter. They can be damaged straight through. Our fire rate seems to be really good now, but I think that's I don't think it's actually our fire rate. I think it's because we have a clotty with us that's firing extra shots. Calm down, tears. Just drop out the sky, please. I just want to plant a bomb. <laughs> These uh, new secret rooms are pretty cool. I haven't seen any of them before, so I think they're new to an update that... Uh, I don't know if that's an Ipecac update or if that's an update to one of the room mods. I know that Rooms Galore got an update recently, so it could be that. But yeah, if you have a lot of bombs, you can just create a bunch of mini Isaacs. I think is really fun. <laughs> to six look. Six look seems to be about when uh, when Loki's horns gets really good. Boom. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, did I did I overcharge there? Because I I, took, I just took a lot of damage. I think I maybe overcharged. Um, I think this run can do hush, but I want to make sure I have a sulfur charge first. There you go. Yeah, I think I accidentally overcharged my gems there. It's a it's a difficult balance. You got to keep your eye on it. I like it a lot. That's good. Another patched heart there. Uh, the player will now fire a continuous stream of weak poop tears in the opposite direction they are firing in addition to their main attack. Tears, special chess pools. That is not correct. <laughs> that is not remotely correct. Um, okay, let's take it. Oh, they get tiny planet too. That's funny. I don't know why. So, some of these are quite wrong. Uh, plus five bombs grants explosion immunity allows you to throw your bombs instead of placing them on the floor or cancer. Cancer is by far the better pick up here. Um, and honestly, that's pretty decent. We'll take that too. And that's another shot speed down for a damager. Hell yeah. Our shot speed keeps going up. Are my stats like change? Like, how often are my stats changing here? Also, more damage. Because my shot speed keeps going up and then down and then up and then down. Is it different items that I'm getting or are my stats changing when I'm using snake eyes? Because I've not actually been paying attention to that. Ooh, damn. Does my does the buttermilk also fire brimstone? It seems like it. We're getting like a secondary beam. Also, I don't know why my beam's so like wiggly. It, it kind of goes up and down, back and forth a little bit. Also, we want to be as far away from him as we can be really for maximum damage output. Because of lump of coal. Seems like we're doing very good damage so far. Our charge is very quick, too. Ooh, we froze him, too, and did not expect that. Yeah, I don't know what's making the beam go so wiggly here, but I like it. We got a key there some, for some reason? Oh, it's because of the, um, the penny. Another freeze. Wow, that's, that's lucky. Normally, holy water doesn't really affect bosses too well. This is crazy damage, this. <laughs> this is crazy damage. Yeah, you, you do what you want over there. I'll just stay even further away over here and get even more damage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Or I could get hit a lot because I didn't realize you were doing this attack. You absolute biatch. That was evil. I wasn't expecting that. You tricked me. I'm taking some damage, but remember we've got cancer, so... The damage is halved. <laughs> I love the buttermilk tears trying their hardest, but they have like zero range. <laughs> They're really giving it their best. I can't, I can't dodge this. I'm do- Do you know, they, these beams are meant to scale with your speed. Nah. They get slower, but it's still too fast. I still can't get out the way of it in time. Stop with the beams. I'm sure I'm sure to play the bit strategy. Get hit once and then stand still and the guy hit you. Okay, so we lost quite a lot of health there. That was kind of unfortunate. But we are going up. We got some good items there though. Cancer is of course a premium pickup for us. 
for the late game. I kind of forgot for a moment that we didn't just have Brimstone. I mean, we very nearly do, to be fair. Soul Heart off of that guy. Let's pop Snake Eyes as well. That was bad. I tried to use Brimstone there, and I just shouldn't have. Ooh, could get some uh, some good stuff here. That's not really the sort of good stuff I was uh, looking for. Oh, no. Is that, is that a bug, or is that the actual description? Because that's not what EID is meant to do. You can't just say temptation. You've got to tell me what it... I, I know what it does, but for other people, it really should tell you what it actually does. I think that's a bug, though. Speed down? No, thank you. But I will take an amnesia for a black heart. Amnesia for a black heart is fine by me. Whoa, Candle Boy's glitching out a little bit there. Pop our Snake Eyes again. I think they've got a really good balance on the uh, the gems to Snake Eyes ratio. It's pretty good. The, the, literally the only change I'd make to this character, the only suggestion I'd make is the random green portals. I'm not exactly sure how they're triggered, but I'd like to see them appear a little more often, just to make the character a tiny bit harder. Obviously, like I said, this is a great run. Like, not every run is going to be this strong. Um, so I can't fully judge it because I've not played it on a weak run yet. That's something that could work quite well. Easy. <laughs> Oh god, it's beautiful. Loki's horns is such a such a beautifully fun and visually interesting um, tier modifier. Thingy, doesn't matter. Bit of speed, finally. Oh god, that was impossible to get out of the way of, wasn't it? Ah, bomb, go away! <laughs> it wouldn't leave me alone. We do need to make sure to pop um, Snake Eyes after this room. Definitely more inclined to leave it as late as possible. Did I just crash the game? No, I didn't. It was just the visual effect was very, very long for some reason. Good, good. Also, the more luck we get on these floors, the more chests we're likely to get. This is a very... Uh, a very strange floor layout. It very much looked like I had to go this way, but now it's telling me I have to go the other way and then loop back around and up, which is weird. I'm kind of interested to see this floor layout once we've completed it. It, it seems like it's going to be very strange. Oh, this is a brimstone room. Oh, you bloody teller fragging little so-and-sos. Evil. Yeah, item. Beautiful. Ooh, nice. The curse collection. I like that. Right. Um, I think we do snake eyes again here. Strength card could be pretty good. A dime for eight cents seems like a great deal. I love it when you can buy money. bothered about that for now. A yeah, few things we're not really caring about too much right now. Blaster sis is blaster dead. Let's pop this again. Free lemonade isn't really what we want. Oh, it can it can spawn a machine. Interesting. Saxon, we're going to do too much for us right now. We're on the home stretch, people. We're on the home stretch. Dirty man procking the... Hey, excuse me.
As long as we have like three hearts going into the last fight, I don't think we can die. Just because of cancer. Check this out real quick. Goddamn old chests are pretty OP. Pretty OP. Having two of them in one room is kind of crazy. Beautiful. And this is where we'll end up we'll even buy Pentagram. <laughs> Got all of that information, and there you go. What a great showcase of this character. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and please do check out the new Ipecac update as well. Big shout out to both Spear and Pedroff for making it happen, and of course anyone else on the Ipecac dev team. Either way, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.